Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan with Her Courage to Plan. Today we've got to go ahead and do our paycheck budget number one for the month of April. Now, if you missed our monthly budget, I will go ahead and link that video up above so that you can go back and view April's monthly budget. We have had some changes, but of course, guys, we have adapted. Now, what you see here, this is the April calendar that comes in the Paycheck Budget Journal. If you have not gotten your copy of the 12 month budget journal guys you want to make sure you go ahead and get your hands on this this is a nice streamlined budget journal i do have the link to my etsy shop down below and you do get a bonus you get your bill due stickers and i give you some payday stickers as well so we are going to go ahead and get into this budget we're going to be actually budgeting our paycheck number one from the first all the way through the 16th now by the time you see this video of course the first will have passed and i just want you to know that we do have over one month of expenditures as a buffer in this account so we're not late on our bills and of course we have grace period with our mortgage so we're never late so i just want you to know that even though this video will be after the first our bills are not late and also guys if you missed that video where i did the April uh, calendar setup. I also did the budget pre-planning with you guys. I'll leave that link up above so that you can go back and watch it if you so desire. So right now we're going to go ahead and get right into paycheck number one budget for April. All right guys so we are here at the paycheck budget worksheet and like I said we are going to do paycheck budget number one. So we'll put that there and then the pay date is going to be from April the 1st through April the 16th. Now, if this is your first time watching one of our videos, my husband and I, we do allocate a portion of our paychecks to go into this joint household account, and we do pay bills out of this account. I will leave a playlist up above so that you can go back and watch some of our other budgeting videos if you so desire. So right now for paycheck number one, hubs, we are expecting 1402. To be deposited in this account that's what's planned and then for me we are expecting seven hundred dollars and then of course we are going to go ahead and account for the rollover in this paycheck so we'll say rollover and that is from march and it is the 259.52 now we do use the every dollar budget app so i always refer to that when i'm doing our budgets all right so let's go ahead and total this income we're at 1402 plus 700 plus 259.52 so 2361.52 is what's planned for paycheck budget number one all right and then for the giving tithe and offering we're planning 442 all right and then for expenses we've got the mortgage at 502 now I'm gonna go ahead and speed this video along so I can plug in these numbers and then we've got to work out what we're going to do as far as um, our savings if we're going to even do anything as far as debt out of this paycheck so i will see you back in a bit guys so so far we're at 1441.37 as far as our expenses so what I'm gonna do is get a sticky note and let's go ahead and just write this down so our expenses without the buffer is 1441.37 all right 
also let's go ahead and plug in down here the income which is at 2361.52 and then the giving planned at 442. And so right now the expenses is at 1441.37. So let's go ahead and plug these numbers in really quick. So 2361.52 minus 442 minus right now the expenses are at 1441.37 okay so that does leave us with 478.15 so we do have enough to go ahead and take care of son's tuition and the vacation saving funds now the household savings it is automatically transferred at the end of the month from our joint household checking account into our joint household savings. So that will be on paycheck number two. So I'm not gonna worry about that. So if we have 478.15 left, and of course that's without a buffer, let me go ahead and plug in son's tuition at $150. So we'll subtract $150 from that. And that leaves us with 328.15. So I can go ahead and take off the vacation as well. And then that'll be $100. So we'll subtract 100 from that. And then that leaves us with 228.15 for paycheck number one. So I do know that our buffer is, let's see, let's go back. Our buffer for the month of April. So our buffer for April is 191.55. So let's go ahead and make sure that that amount is taken care of. So we'll go ahead and subtract the buffer out, the 191.55. So that does leave us with $36.60 from paycheck number one. So I guess I can go ahead and just set that aside for the HELOC because the HELOC is only going to get $50. So I can do that. That way we'll still have a zero base budget. So we'll do the HELOC at the $36.60 and then the buffer will get the $191.55. All right, and then let's go ahead and total these. So that 150 plus 100 savings, that's 250 total. And then we'll bring down this total here for the HELOC. And then I'll go ahead and crunch these numbers again. So we should have, our total expenses should come to 1441.37 plus the 191.55 should come to 1632.92. So let's go ahead and recalculate this. I'll see you back in a bit. guys so the total came to the 1632.92 so I'll go ahead and plug that in and I'll go ahead and put in the expenses down here so it's the 1632.92 and then the savings 250 and then the extra debt is at 3660 so we still should get a zero base budget so let's do one more calculation down here so we've got the 2361.52 minus 442 minus 1632.92 minus 250 and minus 36.60 that's a zero base budget guys all right so this is what we're looking at for our paycheck budget number one guys if you have any questions leave me a comment down below how is your April budget going thus far? All right, guys, you already know the deal. I will see you later. Bye. <music>